This is the create mod, and so is this, this, and this. Today, I plan to start a new series using the create mod with the aim of automating everything. By the end of this series, I hope to have created a single, interconnected city with machines and farms for every item. No, this is not where I want to spawn. Initial thoughts of the seed is that it's a lot better. On day one, I robbed a nearby village, rummaging through the chests, stealing a bed and many hay bales. I also shot my first tree and mined for some stone to steal a brewing stand, of course. By the day's end, I began my voyage to find a suitable home. After a long day of search throughout most of day two, I stumbled upon a shipwreck and after locating the buried treasure map and finding the correct beach, I quickly slept before digging for treasure on day three. Yep, this is a hundred percent the area. Oh, I am glad I waited for this one. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I have three goals to achieve within the next 100 days. These include obtaining an enchanted set of diamond tools, creating an automated food source, and my main goal, automating the production of andesite alloy and brass ingots. Days four to nine were dedicated to exploring the caves. Although I don't have recorded footage of this, However, the VOD of my live stream during that time can be found on my channel. If you want to catch any future streams, consider subscribing. It helps you get notified and be out. With us now on day 10, it's finally time to start working on the starter base. And from the mining trip I did on stream, we got some pretty good resources. And most importantly, we got 18 diamonds. I'm gonna wait a little bit with using them and make some iron picks for now. And when mining yesterday, I think I found both of the blocks I wanna use. So let's just jump down. Searching through the caves on day 10, I was unable to find the stones I was looking for, but instead I stumbled upon. I think I've just found another spawner and this would be my third one. And that means we can make a triple spider farm because you can move spawners with the create mod. I really need to stop my desire and just find what I'm looking for. Now, where is this? I, I, I found it yesterday. I mean, I haven't been here, so <gasps> wait. <gasps> oh, yes. We can make a skeleton farm as well. Oh, yes, here's one of them. So I need a bunch of limestone. And I think, yep, it's limestone, perfect. At the start of day 12, I was finally able to locate the other block, Asrin. The remainder of day 12 was dedicated to breeding cows and sheep, as well as constructing a sugarcane farm for future enchanting purposes. Almost the entirety of day 13 was dedicated to gathering clay. So I need to melt all this clay down into bricks, but that's gonna take ages. Is that I wanna make one of these fans from the create mod to do it for me. But first I need to make a mechanical press with a block of iron, andesite casing. So first let's craft some iron nuggets. I use some andesite and these nuggets, we can make andesite alloy. If we take one of these, strip a log and apply that we get andesite casings and this is one of the main crafting blocks to make like all of the main components and just like this we should have a mechanical press for now we'll have to use a hand crank for this so for now we'll place it right here and we'll place our hand crank on that four pieces of iron on here and now we just have to sit here and bonk, and we get iron plates yes andesite alloy in the middle we get a propeller there's andesite casing here and the propeller we can make an encased fan and if i'm not mistaken i think there's a bit of lava yep right there oh, so placing the lava in front of the fan and if i throw the clay on the depot now <gasps> yes give it a second now oh yes and we have a stack of bricks he tanked my hunger though days 15 to 19 were primarily focused on gathering materials for the starter house with some of these days being streamed live now i almost have everything for the house here but i do need to grab three diamonds and with a few sticks let's craft this into a pickaxe because i need to go get some obsidian it's turning night time so let's hide in the cave and i just need to go down now i'm gonna need 14 of these at least I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not leaving. For these obsidian, I definitely want to craft into an enchanting table that we can use in a little bit. I don't have any bookshelves right now, but grab a flint, piece of iron, flint and steel. And for now, we're just going to be placing the portal like right over here. And well, let's just hope that we spawn in a warped forest, please. Oh, please. Oh no, that's a basalt delta. Oh no, no. But that's a nether fortress. That's at least good. I think we're just going to be going like around this way so we can get a little closer to the fortress and maybe we'll find a warped forest as well. No, this is exactly what I did not want to happen. No, my 35 levels. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that in my hardcore world. I'm not done with the nether. I still gotta go in and get my warp wood. Yeah, I tried saving it, but there was no saving that. Oh, and we were so close. And the last two blocks. And now with considerably less gear, let's just get to building. I began to prepare the terrain around the starter house on day 22. 
Now, next up, let's grab some spruce fences. And I want to grab some cogs. Some shafts could be good. Oh, also that piece of soul sand. Need this lava here. And oh, yep. And then I need the fan and the water wheel. And I know this looks really weird right now, but just trust the process. So let's place the soul sand right here. There's some trap doors. And I need a shaft right here. And if you click a shaft with an andesite casing, it shouldn't use it, but it covers it. So then let's grab the water wheel in front with a large cog. And because of how gears work, if you have a larger wheel spinning a smaller one, the smaller one will spin faster. Then if you run two shafts this way and well, an encased fan with a depot and then our lava bucket right here. And if I stand here, do I get affected? I don't. The next few days were all about building and still some of my replay footage got a little bit corrupted and well, don't mind the white blocks in the time lapse right here. And currently this is two buildings. So using these spruce support, I wanna add these stretching across here to this side. And I wanna add, I think, three of these lines. And if you take an ax crouch and hit the middle one, it just, oh no, wait. Eh, remove the bottom one. And we'll fill that in with some spruce, of course. Then up here, we wanna add in a few lecterns as our rail railing. And then we put some andesite trapdoors on this, which I really love because it gives that little line of color at the top. And this was suggested by my mod burning on a stream. So you should also check out my streams. They're pretty epic. Now this roof here looks really weird because I shifted it and moved it around. And well, it, it looks a little weird. So I found these birch like palisades, which I have no idea what that is, but I wanna add these around the whole building. And next up, I left a little bit of room on this side here, just so I can come in with a few more cog wheels here. Then I want to grab my press that I made earlier. So if we add our mechanical press on top of that and our depot right here, this is now a very, very slow press. And now I just want to add in a little bit of moss for some flower beds and some moss up here. And finally, on day 28, the exterior of the starter house was fully completed. Now, considering that we're already on day 28 and I still haven't completed any of my three goals, we might have to be thinking them a little bit now food is super important so i definitely don't want to take that away but even more so important is definitely the tools i use because that will just speed up making new buildings and new farms and well that only leaves me with one option to skip the andesite and brass making in this video and we'll do that in a future episode yep i'm just that cool <laughs> oh but perfect here's the first burner i'm hearing more spiders in the wall here so it leads me to believe there's another spawner, perhaps. And I think that brings the total up to five, if so. That looks like a spawner. And yep, that's a cave spider. So that's definitely a spawner. There's no way I just found a seventh one. I'm mining to another one, and there's just one right here. We have seven spawners now. Well, seven cave spider spawners and one skeleton. And well, I'm hearing cave spiders behind this wall again. And but if you're telling me there's an eighth one, I'll, I'll lose it. Oh, and well, here we have the skeleton one. Now they're all connected, and that's, well, nine spawners and i think we're going to be bringing them up to the surface from here and now we can actually use our little super smelter thing here would you re would that be called a super smelter i mean it's very fast and well i'm gonna need to store these on the minecart for a while so i'm gonna need nine minecarts eight twelve uh huh. I'm very good at math. Then we need something called a cart assembler, I believe. Yes. All right, that's super simple to make. And before we can go down and actually pick up the minecarts, I do want to just show you what these actually do. So you place them on a rail like this. Place, I'll place a chest here. Then if I place a minecart under here, give this a redstone signal. Bonk. As you saw, it disappeared for a second. But if I push the minecart now, the chest is connected to it. And basically, with the mod, you can do that with spawners. Days 30 and 31 were then spent going around to all of the spawners and placing them on minecarts to transport them back to the surface. Days 32 to 37 were streamed live, during which I focused on constructing a drill to initiate the material gathering process for the spider factory. The next 10 days were all spent on gathering blocks for the spider farm, I started off by trapping a few villagers to trade sticks for emeralds and emeralds for bricks. On day 41, I enchanted my first item in the world, which was an axe to chop more trees, of course. And then it was back to it, venturing to the nether and trading with villagers. On day 49, I set out on an adventure to find a dark oak forest, and after successfully finding one and chopping down a few trees, I headed back on day 50. Day 51 was the final day of gathering blocks, and day 52, and I think I have everything for this farm. So I'll start with the main part of the farm first, and then we'll move on to the details. So, well, uh, let's place the portal here. I said portal, I meant, I meant the spawners.
they had finally came to move all of the spawners in. Well, we just lost one. Um, I'm gonna go sleep. It continued into the beginning of day 56, and once I was done with that, I started building the outside. As for most of my builds, I used like Matica when building, and since replay mods still didn't want to work, you get to see it from the first person view instead. Building continued all the way to day 60, adding in the roofs, some windows, and even doing an interior. Now, if you flip this leaf, we should see spider sprout. Yes. And well, we can now get XP. And since I died to a creeper while building this, I can finally get my tools fully enchanted. Day 61, I spent trying to get a mending villager. But with no luck, I decided to start off day 62 with chopping down some trees to trade sticks for emeralds. I continued trying to get the mending book towards the end of day 62. And finally, late into the night, I got it. To celebrate this achievement, I went straight to bed. The next few days were all spent at the spider grinder and thankfully I managed to get some pretty cool enchantments. I ran out of diamonds on day 65, so had to head into the caves to find some more. This mineshaft has literally carved out the bedrock. What? Hello, that was so many. I have like enough now. I went from 10 to 41. What are the odds of me mining up straight into my drill? I spent the rest of day 66 and day 67 to finish up enchanting. Now we're on day 68 here, so I'm running out of time for this video. I barely have 30 days left, but there is this cool thing called a schematic table and cannon that I want to make. And so crafting a schematic table just like that and a schematic cannon just like that. The schematic in here. I already have the pig factory here. And I just click check. Ooh, ooh, yes, this is the whole thing. And I want it to be like over here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. So I'm just going to place it. Is this going to be spoilers? Oh, yes. Let me get this into position. Then you're just going to have to endure these spoilers here. But if I place this here and then I place the schematic in here. And if I put that up here now, I should get a materials checklist. And yep, that is perfect. But I'm going to get to material gathering now. And this is basically the Limatica mod that I use a lot. But this one has one extra feature that Limatica does not. Like I said, material gathering began on day 69. <laughs> nice. And it was a long one. Continuing on to day 75. Now, I need two more things, and the first one is uh, actually a really tricky item to get. So I need to place a gold sheet on that, and give this a cogwheel. All right, I think I've solved the issues now, and yes, I have. Okay, perfect. That's the first step. Do this, give you that. Now I need to repeat these four more times. I'm a little bit nervous because there is actually a chance that this can break and not give me what I want. But, no, it broke. No, the last one. Luckily, I made an extra set. Yes, and there we have it. A precession mechanism, a, a, precision, a precision mechanism. And with this, we can make a rotation speed controller. Just need to grab up that and boink. And then that with that and a precision, a rotation speed controller. Perfect. And if we have a look at this, this will allow me to change the speed of a shaft. So as you can see here, this one is spinning faster than this one. Now, I did say there's one thing left. And well, that's about two stacks of zinc sheet metal, which is like 32 blocks of zinc. And let's see how much I actually have. I might have enough. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's great. It might be just short or just enough. Boxing, sheet metal. Oh, it's just enough. That's the exact amount I needed. Let's grab all of this now and head down there. I'm gonna wait for night time here, which it's almost soon so I can get a little more gunpowder. Now I hope that 26 is enough. Shots left. Oh, what the, oh, what, 2,000. And we, oh, okay, I can, I can, I can last 12,000 blocks. I, that, that would, should be enough. So let's, let's fire it up. Oh. <gasps> Yo, what? No, that's insane. It's just like, boom, 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 boom. And it's building for me. I don't even have to build anymore. Oh, my life just got so much easier. Oh, what are you doing down there now? Does it excavate, excavate it for me as well? Oh, it does. Oh, this is so amazing. It's doing the shafts I had put in below. I can just sit and watch this thing all day. And here comes the wall. I mean, we're starting to get a building here now. The question is if it's keeping my settings in this. Oh, it has. Oh, that's amazing. <gasps> Finally, Vplay mod decided to start working again. And the build took all of day 78 and a bit into day 79. 
Now I need to get these pigs from that pit up into there. That might be a little tricky. Follow me up here now. I don't think you guys can jump out. Okay, that's perfect. We get another one in there. Oh, and it did place my redstone links. Oh, awesome. So let's flip that. So we turn the whole thing off. Okay. And then if we hit that... We got a windmill spinning now. And this generates a lot of stress units. I don't have any uh, goggles, so I can't really see how much, but it's enough. Then this is set to 32. Okay, now this is a perfect time for all this. So it's currently off. But if I flip this lever, everything starts spinning in here. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So we have the fan spinning over here. We have the conveyor belts rolling. We got the piston. Oh, and it's going out. Okay, that's off now. So if we go ahead and sleep. Now when we wake up, this thing is going to power. That's going to harvest all of the carrots. There we go. Now it is. And that kid up there. Oh, and it's breathing them. Yes, yes, yes. And a baby comes out. Goes on the conveyor belt. Yes. And... Yes, it works. It works. Oh, okay. You probably didn't see what happened there. But what happened is... So the carrots get harvested every morning right over here. And that ends up in this item vault that wasn't working for some reason. But I fixed that. So it's fine. Then the carrots go out here. They hit this weighted disp uh, weighted ejector here, which makes them fly up here. Then they can get sucked into these. That in turn breeds the pigs, which we might see another one here soon. The piggy goes on the conveyor belt over here where I have my manual killing area because then I can hit them with looting. And then once the food comes, it will go into these hoppers here. And it will land on this plate here, which will fling it over. And it will start smoking them. Oh, it works. I'm, I'm so happy. On day 80, I want to start connecting all of the builds. So I headed into a nearby cave to find gravel to make coarse dirt. I then wanted to get straight to work on the path, but quickly realized how bad the terrain was. So I spent day 81 to 85 fixing that problem so that I could start mapping the path out on day 85. All of day 86 was spent on the path, first making it wider and then adding in coarse dirt on the edges to make it look a little bit more used and stuck into the terrain. Day 87 was basically the same, except I spruced up the path a little. Day 88, I decided to finish off the terrain between the string and pig factories by adding in a little bit of a retaining wall and extending down the terrain. Day 89 consisted of even more terrain work, adding in a small river flowing down along the string factory to power a water wheel. This was followed by yet another two days on working on the path, extending it up to the starter house. I wasn't fully happy with the look of the pig factory yet, so I spent day 92 adding in a pig pen at the bottom. I then realized that the carrots were not growing fast enough, so I decided to start adding in a carrot field on day 93. I finished the field up on day 94, adding in a few sweet berries and vegetation all around. Finishing up day 94, I added in a small tree. I liked the first tree so much that I spent day 95 gathering leaves and logs to build two more. And then we click play. And well, I still love this schematic Canada. It's oh my god, it's amazing. It's it's so amazing. Just look at it go. Oh, it's amazing. It's building building trees for me. Oh, it's fantastic. Day 97 and 98, I finally finished the string factory by adding in all of the create components to, in the future, be able to export items via train. And I think I've actually managed to produce, yep, 132 stack of pork. But it's day 99, which means this is the last day of this challenge because, well, the challenge was to do all of this before. 100 days so let's just take a quick look at what we have done first off we built the starter base with my chest monster right outside which i'll definitely need to clean up but this right here was only a small portion of this 100 days we have my very temperate farms and trees and everything in this area here and it's when we start to follow this road here down towards the factories that it actually gets interesting and i added in these trees to the back of the pig factory and i absolutely love them i'm gonna be so happy adding in more of these in the future and i try this neat trick that i saw in a b-dubs video where he put lighter leaves on one of the sides and it gives it way more and it gives you the illusion that the sunlight is hitting it and it just looks so awesome and then the actual factory as well with an amazing interior we have the pigs here, we got all of the machinery back here, the breathing, everything. Now this build turned out amazing and there's still a lot of decorations I want to add to it. And if you want to see me do that, then you can always catch one of my YouTube streams. And I stream every Tuesday at 8pm 
BST. And if you're like me and suck at remembering things, then you can always join my Discord where I notify everyone. But I also made this factory, which is my XP farm. And I started working a little bit on the terrain in the frontier, and especially when this area right here can house trains. I am so excited for trains. Like, I want it now. That's going to be it for this first episode of the Create Mod. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did watch all the way to the end, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button because, well, it does help a lot. But that is it for me. So thank you so very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.